Hi there, I'm Victoria and in this video we will learn what is query, how it works and I'll show you several query examples. Let's go! In this internet era where people use software to make life easier, there are a lot of data collected to make that work. An internet user makes a lot of data requests from a database daily. Let's say when you are searching for an entry in your favorite blog, looking for your friend's account on Instagram or even googling for information. In that data requesting process, there's a query involved. If we look for a definition of query in a dictionary, it will say that it's a request for information. In computer programming, it refers to the same thing, except the information is retrieved from a database. In other words, a query means a request for data from a database. Using a query to request data allows you to review data from multiple tables simultaneously. You can also filter records to contain only certain fields and meet certain criteria. And it's also possible to automate data management tasks and perform calculations with a query. When writing a query, a set of predefined code is needed to make a database understand the instruction. That is known as the query language. The standard language for database management is Structured Query Language, often abbreviated as SQL. But there are other query languages like AQL, Datalog, and DMX to ease the database communication process. Imagine when you are requesting information in a clothing store. Let's say you want to know if a shirt is available in black, so you ask the employee. Then, the store employee will process the meaning of your request and provide the information you need. In a simple way, that's basically how query works. It adds meaning to the code, so that system will understand and execute actions accordingly. Using a query language, be it SQL or any other, the user and the database can exchange information as long as they're using the same language. A well-designed database stores data in multiple tables, whose columns hold data's attributes, along with the rows or records of information. Queries retrieve data from different tables, then arrange and display them according to the commands. A query can be select, an action or combination of both commands. Select queries retrieve information from data sources, while action queries add, change or delete data. Advanced users can also use query commands to perform various programming tasks, like creating MySQL users and granting permissions, or changing WordPress URLs in MySQL databases. Some of the most used query commands are Every request begins with a select query and combines data from one or more tables. Create table is used to build different tables and specify the name of each column within. Sum allows you to summarize data from a specific column. By combining commands, you can create more variations. For example, you can pair the select query with AND to aggregate data. As I mentioned before, choosing the database and its language is crucial when working with queries. Besides SQL, there is another database type called NoSQL, which stands for Not Only Structured Query Language. The main difference between the two is the data structure. SQL databases are rational and use predefined schemas, which means you need to specify your data structure. On the other hand, no SQL databases are non-relational, with dynamic schemas for unstructured data. Both SQL and NoSQL provide applicable options. An SQL database is a great choice for an ACID-compliant data structure. Meanwhile, a NoSQL database is ideal for unstructured documents, key values or graphs. Now let's dive into the examples of queries using an SQL database. Let's suppose that you have collected data from a survey and arrange it in a table like this. If you want to create a table that only contains certain criteria, you can create a query using a SELECT command. Let's say we want information about the participant's nationality. The SQL statement will look like this. It will generate a table with the requested information. You can modify the variables according to which information you want to feature. Now let's see an example of deleting a type of data. Suppose you want to eliminate the male participants of the survey. The SQL statement will look like this. We will get an output like this. 
To change the record, we can use update and the where query to specify the row. For instance, writing an SQL statement like this one, we will update Mary's age on the table. In the broader scene, the insert into query inserts data into MySQL database via MySQLi and PHP data object. But in this example, I will show you how to use the insert query to add a new row to a database table. To specify the columns we want to fill and their corresponding values, the statement will look like this, where value 1 is the value of the first column, value 2 of the second, and so on. But you can also simply add values to the table like so. Now, suppose that you want to add data from a new participant. The SQL statement will look like this one, and it will give you the following output with a new row for Fernando's data. To recap, a query means a request for a data from a database. It should be written using a predefined code known as query language. We also checked some practical query examples and learned how to write statements for SQL database. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any other questions about queries. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. See you in the next video.